This video gives an explanation for why the chain rule holds. I'm not going to give a rigorous proof of the chain rule, but I would like to give a more informal explanation based on the limit definition of derivative. So I'm going to write the derivative of f composed with g evaluated at a point a as the limit as x goes to a of f composed with g of x minus f composed with g of a divided by x minus a. I'll rewrite this slightly and now I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by g of x minus g of a. That doesn't change the value of the expression provided that g of x minus g of a is not zero. That's the detail I'm sweeping under the rug here and why this is not a real proof but just a more informal explanation. Now if I rearrange things and rewrite the limit of the product as the product of the limits, my limit on the right here is just the derivative of g. For the limit on the left, notice that as x goes to a, g of x has to go to g of a, since g is a differentiable and therefore continuous function. So I can rewrite this and letting, say, u be equal to g of x, I can rewrite this as the limit as u goes to g of a of f of u minus f of g of a over u minus g of a. Now my expression on the left is just another way of writing the derivative of f evaluated at g of a, and I've arrived at the expression for the chain rule. Let me just emphasize again, this is just a pseudo proof. It's not quite airtight because g of x minus g of a might be zero. That's all for the justification of the chain rule. For a complete proof, please see the textbook.